morning. Happy Saturday, everyone. <clears throat> giving it just a few seconds just to invite a few people. So let me invite, invite, invite. Just inviting a few people, so give me a second. It's Saturday, thank goodness. The weekends go by fast. Yes, they do. Okay. Happy Saturday, everyone. I just wanted to invite a few people. So I'm not going to take long. I just wanted to <clears throat> do talk a little bit about eyeshadows. <clears throat> I love eyeshadows. And this is for a lot of you I know have not. Good morning, April. Have not um, tried this product. And so, but... I, I thought, you know, everyone loves eyeshadows, so you can't go wrong with color. And why not try the palette Addic Add Addiction, Moodstruck Addiction palettes, if you're interested. So, I'm going to show you how I put on my eyes. I've already, I already have my, um, my face on, basically, as far as my um, tinted moisturizer and powder and bronzer. So we're just going to do some eyes. Um, what I love about this line is they have uh, these palettes called Moodstruck Addiction. There's seven different colors. Look how beautiful they are. And they uh, are matte and shimmer, so there's a lot of good colors here. Now, I only have three. There are a total of five palettes, so I have three. So, I'm going to just do my eyes here, you guys. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, but I'm just going to show you the color. Um, I'm just going to show you how I put on my eyeshadow and what I use. Uh, so, today, I think I'm going to go with palette three, but first, I'm going to do a little eyeliner. So this is just my eyes. I already have on my my uh, foundation and powder and bronzer. I just wanted to talk a little eyes with you guys. So who doesn't love eyeshadows? I know most of you do. They're fun. And What's great is you don't have to go with just one brand. Well, maybe some of you do because I know people that have sensitive eyes. And that's one thing I love about <clears throat> these palettes are um, they are natural base. So there's no paraben. Um, they're uh, none of the yucky ingredients that some... <clears throat> shadows eyeshadows have excuse me <clears throat> I need something to drink <clears throat> that some eyeshadows have that cause your eyes to be very sensitive I'm gonna I'm gonna take a sip of my ginger ale because my throat's dry so that's what's really good about these palettes <clears throat> and for those that have sensitive eyes. That was one good thing about the mascaras. A friend of mine who um, just recently tried the, the 3D fiber mascara, her, she's very sensitive. I like, she has struggled with everything as far as her face breakouts and her eyes being sensitive to uh, mascaras and she tried this and loved them. Didn't have any irritation, nothing. So they're formulated. This is, this it's great because they are formulated uh, for that purpose, for people that um, are sensitive to 
um, the ingredients that some products, cosmetics have. Okay, so I'm going to do the um, palette three. And this has actually kind of become my favorite palette here. Um, but I'm, I love how they name. They have names for all the colors. So I think I'm going to go with Tickled and Ecstatic and Determined. So these three colors today. I'm thinking that will go good with, I'm all striped out. Say hello to Eugene. Yes, he's sitting back there in the corner. So guys, if you like eyeshadows, I just wanted to share the eyeshadows I use. Okay, so I always start out in the middle. I hope my lighting's okay. So I'm looking at my mirror here. I always start out in the middle here, the eyelid. And this is Tickle. So, and I go with a matte color, well, a matte, so the tickle is, a, is matte, and I go kind of, I know my crease is here, but I go kind of outside of the crease here, because you know, my eyes, lids, kind of hang over now and they're not quite like they used to be when I was even in my 30s so do, do you are you guys uh, who watched the game last night the basketball game I don't have a choice but to watch it because <laughs> you know I have a husband who is a major sports fan and oh my gosh he cracks me up watching Watch the Florida Gator basketball game, and of course they won. I'm trying to find my tissue. Um, and my husband was going nuts, and oh my gosh, I wish I could. It's better cow. I recorded, I Snapchat some of it, and with and sent it to my mom and son. Oh my gosh, because he's so nuts. I mean, crazy. But he's, you know, he is a. He's the third oldest of ten children, and they are all big-time Gator fans. Okay, so I have my my tickled, matte tickled from on, and now I'm going to go with Ecstatic. So all I'm doing here is just kind of showing you guys. I just wanted to share these palettes I really love. I've come to love. Um, I love all their colors. Their their palettes have seven 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 different colors in them, and each one they are isn't that pretty? They have no paraben. They are gluten-free, so for those of you that have sensitive eyes, this is your eyeshadow, let me tell you. Um, so determined, I'm going to go on top, which I love these brushes too, because you can kind of blend everything in. Yeah, and blend it. How does that look? So even though I did put a little bit of the eyeliner, this is another one of my another another new favorites. As far as the eyeliner, I like taking and I love their eyeliner. There is so soft. Uh, like it, it's gel and going on but even though I just put my eyeshadow on but I like to go over it one more time because I like to kind of with the eyeliner on the top to make it a little darker 
over the shadow that I just put on. And when you do this, you want to kind of lay the pencil on your cheek. You don't want to go at this angle because you could poke your eye. So that's, I love that because too, when I put on my mascara, it helps with the look that I like for my eyelashes. So I'm using palette three, the tickled, which is the kind of pinkish color, uh, the ecstatic, and determined on top. And so typically a lot of people use three colors. You can you can put in as many colors as you want. I like that. So give me some hearts. I need just a little bit of hearts, if you will. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm feeling a little irate. No, not really. But I like how they put in a dark color because I love using eyeshadow as um, an eyeliner for my lower part here. So I'm using irate. taking the other side of my eyeshadow brush that I use and I'm putting a little irate dark color under my eyelid. How's that? Look, and I, I mean, it goes on so easy. I, that's another thing I love about this uh, eyeshadow is you really don't need a lot at all. I mean, you can't even hardly tell I've been using this. Now, the, this is probably the second time I've used the irate, but I've used these colors all week, and you can't even hardly tell because it really, you don't need a lot. Um, it, it's, you, it's just, a, you need a small amount, and it's and it lasts for a long time. That's another great thing about this eyeshadow. It's long wearing. So here we go. Now, so the colors <clears throat> real quick <clears throat> that I have that I just used is the palette three. Like I said, each one has seven different colors. Um, this palette three, this is, our, okay, so this is like the fresh pinks and purples for palette three and you can go to my website i have little short videos about each palette that i have that i'll be downloading i think there's two on there now but um not my website but you can go to my facebook page my vip lash bash vip with gabby uh and the, the there you'll find some videos of these little different palettes i have palette four now, palette four, those, these are your earthy browns and blues. So, for those of you that like the browns, which I do, and I actually, I'm going to be using um, the arrogant color here to color in my eyebrows, which, you know, my eyebrows, people, let me tell you, they have been a working progress. <laughs> and then your palette one, these are your bronzy and brassy golds seven colors so check them out go to my page gabby gabby's glamour world.com um, there you can check out all the palettes there's a total of five so I'm just sharing with you what I have and what I like to use um, so I have my eyes done as far as my color now I'm gonna go <laughs> with and you know you know with your eyebrows, it's kind of like a hit and miss when you do your eyebrows. Well, hmm. oh my gosh, where's my brush? <gasps> where's my brush? It's, it's, it's like a hit and miss with um, my brows. And 
Where's my, you know what? Hold on. Here it is, no fear. No fear, my brush is here. So this is what I use to color in my eyebrows. So sometimes my eyebrows have been like a hit and miss as far as sometimes like yesterday, I think it was yesterday, right? I posted the picture asking about my eyebrows, how they look. They look good to me. I was like, okay, I was happy. They looked good. They looked better. It's like, you know, and then there's some days where it's like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I, I, they don't even look right. Now, obviously that saying that um, I, I've heard now I'm kind of sharing it with everyone is your eyebrows are not twins. They are sisters. So of course they're not going to be identical. However, you know, you want them to look good. So I, my eyebrows have definitely been a working progress. I'm still, like I said, sometimes I, I'll do real good and they look to me good. And then other times, I don't know. So we're going to see how today goes. Okay. So I, I have to really concentrate on this. <laughs> so what I use is, um, the arrogant color out of my, uh, Moodstruck Addiction Palette 4. And that's what I use. So I just, I have this little brush here because <clears throat> it's a pointy brush. This is what I've been using. And I start up top here. Now notice I have a scar that's happened, that happened when I was like three years old. So I just kind of draw it in, go up at, at an angle. I really don't know what I do. I just try to do. I just try to follow the outside of my eyebrows. And my presenter, Lisa, she always tells me, you got to get over here on your, um, on the ends where it doesn't look so thin. And then I come, and this is the, this is where I, uh, can have an issue with right here, this part. And then I just try to fill them in. But see that? This is what I have a problem with. But no fear. Because concealer is here. And I'm still getting used to them being dark. So I've been thinking, because my hair is looking a little ratty as far as it needs to be trimmed. And I'm thinking I need to color it to give it a little highlight. It's been a while, a long time actually. This is pretty much my natural color. I'm seeing a little grays coming about. So... Okay, now before we start judging the eyebrows, let me do the other side. <laughs> and then I'll work on them together. Okay, so we go, so I just kind of try to start up top. <sighs> I'm, Unique has an eye an eyebrow brush that I'm going to order. I mean, I like this one, but um, see how it like it, it will stop. Of course, I'm using eyeshadow, so that might be why too. So if you're just joining, I'm just doing my eyes today. I already, I started with my eyeshadow or with my foundation and, and bronzer and everything on. I just want to do some eye colors and my eyebrows and talk eyes. So my eyebrows have been a work in progress. See, I, I feel like I had too much right here and I want this eye. Doesn't seem like it has an arch the way that this one does. 
So, I'm getting better, people, I think. I think I'm getting a little better. So, what I'm using is my concealer, which I like this. It just kind of brightens. And, too, if I, if I brought it down too much, I can cover it up. So, this, this right eye is looking a little dark. Okay, so this is a little dark. Little too dark. <laughs> See, this is where I look like a clown. But no fear because the blending bud is here. So, this is what I do I just kind of blend to lighten it up a little bit. Because, look, I, I want to look more natural than I do any anything. But, my brows are definitely lighter and have are thinner as I've aged. So I'm just kind of getting in with the times, people, and how do they look? Give me some thumbs up or some hearts or comments or let me know. What do you think? What can I do if you have any, any, uh, Tips, please give them to me. Share, I mean, let me know, comment. Ha let me know how you do your eyebrows. In fact, give me some pictures of your eyebrows. I know this one girl at my work, Sammy, her eyebrows are always on fleek, on point. I'm not kidding. They look so good. And she told me, she's like, it, it takes time. It, you know, it takes time. So, so how do they look, guys? Very nice, Ka Karina. Thank you, Karina. How do I love this color, guys? Oh my gosh, that's why I had to share just the, doing the eyes. So does this side look a little darker? Hmm. I think it is. And sometimes people I know may go with different colors. I just feel like I have more control and can fill it in with eyeshadows than I can with an eyebrow pencil. But that's just me. Because a lot of people use pencils. Okay. All right. So moving on, guys. To, I hope my eyebrows. I, okay. What? What? Once we put the mascara on and everything kind of lipstick, I think it all comes together so I am getting better it is a work in progress I feel like this one's a little bit darker but when I look in my mirror here it looks the same so I think it's just the 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 um the lighting okay okay so I'm just sharing and doing my eyes i already had my foundation and everything on i just wanted to share with you guys all these great awesome palette addiction palette colors that i absolutely love and i want you to check them out on my website at gabby's glamour i'm serious please check them out they are awesome so, I just did my brows. So, tell me what you think, Lynette. Tell me what you think about my brows. Now, I've got to also get me some more 3D fiber lashes. Um, really, your mascara, any mascara you use, should last you for about three months, even if uh, you still have more. I wouldn't use it any more than four months uh, because then they get, you know, you don't, even, they, they just, they're not supposed to be good after three months. So if you notice a difference in your eyelashes and your, when you're applying your mascara and if it's not um, going on as smoothly or your eyelashes aren't looking as good, it's because it's time for you to change your mascara. So what normally I just use the two, the gel and the fibers, but lately I've been using my mascara you can use whatever mascara you want to use. Apply the mascara first. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply the mascara. So today, you guys, we're just talking eyes. That's it. 
I did not do any, I, I already uh, had my foundation and powder and bronzer and blush on. Does anyone get um, the monthly Ipsy bag? Have you seen my, I think I made a post. I know I did a little videos on Instagram of the, what I received in my Ipsy bag, but I love just getting the Ipsy bags. And a lot of times I give the product to my girls or I'll keep some of this stuff, but check out the Ipsy bags this month. I love this bag. It's deep, you know, it's, it's big. So that way, like I said, it could fit my, my, uh, eyeshadows perfectly in there. I love the color. <clears throat> and they actually had a cute little um, blush that I actually have on that I tried. So what I'm doing is I am putting on my mascara first before I use the 3D fiber gel which I know a lot of people, a lot of people that use the 3D fiber gel, they'll put on their mascara, whatever that may be. Um, this is something I actually got in the Ipsy bag. Uh, I don't know if it was last month or the month before, I think, which I like, and I carry it in my purse. But, uh, but if not, I use Clinique or L'Oreal mascara. So you can put that on. And then I'll kind of let this dry. I'm really digging the color. Palette 3. Palette 3. Hey, Angela. Palette 3, guys. I'm telling you, go to my website and check out these palettes. They're seven colors. They're fabulous. They're beautiful. They're all, I mean, you can't go wrong with eyeshadows. You can't have enough eyeshadows. And why not try different, different um, brands? I mean, come on. Everybody now just uses all, I know I have all different kind of things. So, okay, so I already put mascara on, so now I'm going to do the gel. And if you guys seen, if you go on my Facebook page. See, it's time for me to get some new 3D fiber lashes, that's for sure. Um, I had a few ladies that tried the 3D fiber lashes for the first time. They posted on my page. Go check it out. The Lash Bash VIP with Gabby. If you haven't already. And check out their before and after pictures. And one of the girls shared how she, <clears throat> how she um, has sensitive eyes and the 3D fiber lashes, no, no problem. And that's because they have reformul reformulated these lashes and the gel is actually a conditioner for your eyelashes. Time for me to get some new 3D fiber lashes because my fibers are getting low, low, low. All right, so how does my eyebrows look though? That's the real question. How do my eyebrows look? This is Lynette. Hold, please. <laughs> Woman, check your left eyebrow near the arch. You have a hole. My left eyebrow near the arch. Okay. See, this is what I need to know. Because the lighting. See, I thought it was I thought it was darker. Oh, I haven't been reading the comments. 
Oh, you have a hole. Okay, sorry. Oh. So right here, like where the arch is. Yes. How's that? Oh, right here? Well, that right there is my scar. This is my right side. <laughs> this side? Yes, right here. Yes, this is my scar. I know. I'm just so used to it. Okay. Yes, I have a scar. That's my scar. So it's kind of like a bald spot. Is that better? I mean, you can still kind of see it. How's that? I fixed it. Now, does this look darker than that? Than my left side? I see. I know you can probably see it, but that's my scar. I need to, um, I wonder if I used a darker color. How about now? Yes, I know, Angela. I do need some practice on the eyebrows. That's why I've been practicing. <laughs> They're coming together. It's going to take some time. It is definitely going to take some time. But this is why I use concealer to just kind of help shape and form them. Yeah, I know. I need to brush them. I know, really, I should brush them up, then apply, but, geez louise, that's right, they're not twins, they are sisters. Where's my little brush? Okay, see, this is why I like doing this, so that way I can get opinions and uh, people that are more... Now, Angela, you, you do good with your eyebrows. I see your eyebrows. Thank you. Love you too, Lynette. What, what did she say? Well, yeah, definitely. Okay. Does that look better? Okay, I'm getting some hearts, so I guess that does look better. Brushing them. Does that look better? Angela. And the concealer that I've used, does that look better? I mean, can you... I'm telling you, my eyebrows are a work in progress. You guys, yes, thank you. I know, and see, this I have that scar there, so I know it looks like a little hole, but okay. So my eye, my eyes do look better. My eyebrows do look better. Thank you for your honesty and looking out for me, because that's what I need. This is just to brush off my fibers that I had on there. I'm going to do one more one more coat. So I like I was saying, my girls have or helped me out here, keeping me in check with my eyebrows. 
but back to the eyelashes I need to switch out my fibers but um, definitely go to my website and check the eyeshadow the palettes out of course they have the cream they have cream um, shadows and they have pigment so they have the all different kind of eye colors but I love these palettes you get one palette with seven different colors they're awesome your eyebrows are like my under eye circles we have to learn how to deal with them yes Lynette well but we're gonna work on yours because I think with your you have to go darker a lot of people think that they are to go lighter when they have dark circles under their eyes but according to a makeup artist you you actually need to go darker um, so we'll, we'll get together and we'll um, we'll work on that so the most important thing back to your lashes when you use these 3d fiber lashes that some people don't do just because they just don't know is you have after you apply the the fibers you need to apply the gel the gel so you'll do gel fibers gel because the gel is what locks the fibers in so that way you won't have fibers falling down throughout the day and your eyes are on your cheeks looking seriously gorgeous thank you a banana a banana powder for under her eyes whose eyes my banana powder <laughs> I've never heard of that what is that Angela oh is that like the color now I use I, I'm absolutely in love with my concealer my uh, my um, concealer I use love it so okay well there you have it there's my eyes you guys so I just wanted to take this Saturday morning and share my putting on my eyeshadows and my mascara and doing my eyebrows because let me tell you my eyebrows are definitely a work in progress yes they are so I think I'm gonna go with because let's see the This is the color of the um, blush I have on. So I think I'm going to go with this color here, my lips. I, you, it's good to uh, match the colors. It helps with dark under eyes. I ordered some. When it comes in, I'll message you about it. I don't sell it, but I did buy it. Oh, okay so it's a banana powder for under your eyes and it helps with dark circles hmm. yeah I'm interested in that I mean I don't really have majorly dark circles but but yeah for those of you that do like my friend Lynette my husband has dark circles under his eyes gosh I love this lip gloss oh, you just don't even know people Okay, so there you have it. There's my face. Okay, my eyebrows are a work in progress. I know, they are. They are looking better, though. I feel like they're a little too dark, but this could be the lighting, too. Well, actually, we have um, natural light in here as well. Okay. No, Cabo's not going to be wearing any makeup, but, you know, whatever can help with his dark circles. Okay, so here you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my little video on eyeshadows, and go to my website. Um, even if you have not tried 
this product, this cosmetic line. Eye, eye colors you can't go wrong with. And what's so great are um, if you have sensitive eyes, this is a great uh, product because that's paraben free, it's um, gluten free, it doesn't have all those harsh chemicals that, that some cosmetics have. Uh, so very pretty Gabby, thank you. You're making me want to put on my face on this lazy Saturday. Well, go ahead, girlfriend, put on your face. All right, that's it. And go to my website, www.gabbysglamour.com. Check out these palettes. I have three of them. I just got to get two more. There's a total of five. And they are on my website. And you can get all the information from there. All right, guys. Thank you, Angela and Lynette, for helping me out with my brows. I'm still working on them. And for all your comments and tips. I appreciate it. You guys have a happy Saturday.